Lentils are so versatile that I think you can come up with countless recipes using them. And if you are someone who loves lentils, then I would suggest trying all the different varieties of lentils because each one has their own distinctive flavor. Today I will be showing you how to make a moog dal recipe with cauliflower. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Boombi. I added about a third of a cup of moong dal to my pressure cooker and stirred them on medium heat till they turned little golden brown. You can even use red lentils, but in that case you can skip this roasting part. Moog dal gets extra flavorful when roasted like this, so please do not skip this step. At the same time, do not over roast them. Like, do not roast to the point that they get deep brown in color, because then they will get hard and won't get cooked. Once they get this light brown color, take them off heat and give a quick rinse. Do not rinse too much as then you will be losing that nutty flavor that is developed by roasting. After that the lentils again enter the pressure cooker along with 2 cups of water, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of oil to prevent the lentils from foaming up. If you do not want to use a pressure cooker, follow the same steps using a regular pot and cook till the lentils are soft. Pressure cook the moong dal for 10 minutes and if you are cooking in a pot, it will take about 25 to 30 minutes for the lentils to get soft. Switch off the pressure cooker after 10 minutes and allow all that pressure to be released naturally and only then open the lid of the cooker. For making dal the Indian way, the lentils need to be super super soft to the point that they fall apart and go to the point of becoming mushy. I added about half a cup more of hot water. Then my handy dandy wooden wandy goes in to bring everything together. Next pot on medium heat with 4 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns hot but not smoking hot, Add a dry bay leaf and then a teaspoon of cumin seeds that is jeera. Remember to lower the heat to low when adding whole spices. And you need the seeds to splutter. Only then they will turn flavorful. But please keep an eye that the seeds do not turn black because then your curry will turn bitter. I added the cauliflower along with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I also added a fourth of a teaspoon of hing that is asafoetida, but that is totally optional. Now stir the cauliflower on medium high heat till they turn little golden brown along the edges. Cover for a few minutes, then uncover. Give a stir and cover again. The cauliflower looks well fried so I added a splash of water and then a tablespoon of finely grated ginger goes in along with Kashmiri red chilli powder. You can also use sweet paprika if you want to avoid the heat. A third of a cup of hot water goes in. Cover on medium low heat for 6 to 7 minutes or until the cauliflower turns tender. Please keep in mind that the cauliflower should not turn too soft and mushy. It must be tender but not to the extent of falling apart because then it will be some kind of a mashed up disaster and you don't want to deal with that. I added just a teaspoon of sugar which balances the flavors, but it is optional. Two whole green chilies that will give a nice flavor and finally the dal tumbles down. Now is the time to do a taste test and I felt it needs a little more salt. Then to bring in more of color, I added about a fourth of a cup of frozen green peas. Cover on medium heat for 2 minutes. 
After 2 minutes, lift off and then I added some juicy red ripe tomatoes to add up to my color madness. And finally, chopped coriander leaves to sign off the dish. Have this with rice or any bread of your choice. Please send me your feedback after trying this recipe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.